Yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> hey, hey. Ace, pick up the pace, tell her what I find no ace. Indeed, I am pretty much for the vein, and need all my veins, I'm falling asleep. Kick it in the dead, I sever your head. When shit touch the river, my brain will be fat. I touch the sky, and my life to the dead. I watch my demons because of the sand. Oh, I'm not a North Fan. Death, please, my importance, rest. So, I told you guys that I've lost like 20 pounds the past seven months, but that, that's not stopping me. For some reason, I'm still super strong, so. I'm done. No, you can use that. Yeah, I'm done. Um, but. Your flashlight's on. 585 conventional moves super good. I wasn't planning on doing that today, but I hit 500. It felt like way too easy. I hit 545. It felt way too easy, so. I just jumped to 585. Did not feel very easy. It looked, it actually looked pretty quick though. It's just, I about threw up my fucking intestines from that set. But yeah, I did some, doing like heavy singles won't like destroy your body super bad. So I know I still, I know I have my prog program in two days, but I decided to take the working sets really easy. I did like, what I do, 405, for like a couple reps. And I just took it real easy there, and now I'm gonna start the bodybuilding workout. I know somewhere we could get away. If you wanna find another place, love, disappear and never leave a trace. I'll take you anywhere you want. I know somewhere we could get away. If you wanna find another place, love. All right, you guys, real quick to interrupt the edit. Gabby was asking me like the proper way to do like lap pullovers. And basically the analogy I used um, was like, you know when you're getting out of the pool, kind of like to push yourself up, like after you get up and then kind of push. It's kind of kind of like that similar motion, so. Get up. Get up. Y'all know about Pink Floyd, huh? My strength and conditioning coach in high school was essentially a reincarnated version of Spartacus. He literally had a fucking Greek like fucking helmet in his room. He didn't train us like we were like going to work out for like school. 
We would be rock walking around the campus. I live in Arizona, 100 like 13 degree weather, fucking holding barbells on our back and shit. I'm very thankful for that man because you know he he taught me a lot about just like simply like suffering. <laughs> that that's all that's it. And that Coach C. Plan. Yeah, Coach C, yeah. Shout out Coach C. Hey, how'd you do this? CrossFit. Alright guys, I haven't done this in probably I haven't done this in probably like five years, so wish me luck. Look at Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. The only Chick-fil-A is open is in Tempe. No, look, check. It's Saturday. See ya. All right, you guys. So, right now, Chick Fil A's about to close. We gotta get our 30 grilled nuggets. Cause, all right, I'm telling you, this is this is also another fucking hack. Not a, just a gym hack, but a food hack. Don't get don't get a 12 count nugget. Get a 30 count nugget, and you'll save a ton of money and be able to eat two meals. Shut up. Okay. So, hold on. I gotta tell these guys the story. Record me. Okay. So, yeah, get the get the thirty count nugget. But so this kid, seventeen years old, he's basically telling me a little bit about him. Like kids used to call him anorexic. Like he's super super skinny guy, seventeen years old. Uh, played cornerback, which is funny because I played corner when I played football too. And I was basically telling him, yeah, like I I ran track. I was a super skinny kid, hundred fifty pounds, hundred forty pounds. Yeah, yeah, yada yada yada. The whole was shabam. And basically, I was like, all right. I can tell that this kid, he really, he really wants it. Like to have the, to, you know, to have the, the confidence to like go up to some random person and ask for their help is, uh, you know, that's, it takes a lot of courage. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to help this kid out. Basically I was like, I'm going to send you a program. It was the, this was like, this is the program that I attribute all my gains to. And I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because it's a terrible, I don't know, basically, I don't, it's not for the faint of heart, and I don't think it is necessarily beneficial for everybody, so, but that's besides the point. I send him this, this demonic program, basically, and I tell him, this is the single hardest program I've ever ran in my life, and if you're able to do it, then you will make gains. I just, like, I was just basically telling him, you have to eat, otherwise, like, it, this shit's not gonna work, like, you're gonna get hurt, like, Basically, you're gonna be screwed. So I, I gave him my number. I sent him the Excel document, and I'm like, "All right, bro, get your rice cooker ready. Get your get your shakes ready. Basically, everything you guys have learned from my videos." And he he seemed excited about it. He's like, his mom's waiting to pick him up outside. And I was like, I don't know. That shit just makes me so happy. But yeah, I sent him the program, and um, hopefully, hopefully, you know, I see him and like two years and he's just fucking housed and he was he was telling me that you know his dad his dad was a bodybuilder his uncle he was showing me a video he's benching like 405 for seven reps just housed um and so i was like bro you got the genetics it's in your blood just you gotta eat and like and just work hard and i was like if you need help with any form just send me videos and uh yeah so i might have just cursed another kid with the gym. The gym. <laughs> so he's he's probably it's either he you know takes it, works on it for like two weeks, then quits, or he he might watch this video. He actually subscribed, or he takes this and it absolutely changes his life forever for the better. He gets fucking jacked, and that's ultimately the end goal. <laughs> but yeah, I just I just thought I'd tell you guys that because. I don't know, that shit was making me happy, so I'm talking about it, but now we're gonna go get the 30 count Chick-fil-A nuggets. Hey you guys, it is about, I think like three days since I recorded uh, that deadlift video you guys saw, but I forgot to do an outro, so I'm gonna do it now, but, um, and tell you guys a little bit uh, about like how the program's going. So me and Adam just finished day two of the program. It's a push day and it's a lot of fun. Just like all the movements and you know, just having a, having a training partner and like me and him like talked and we're like, we're really trying to be like strict with the program because sometimes I would just like, 
or I would just like take a program and like take like little bits and pieces and kind of like do my own thing. But this time it's like, it's very strict. We're doing exactly what it says and we're just gonna try and progressive overload, follow it as best as possible. Make sure we're communicating like, okay, we're fatigued as fuck. It's really not beneficial to come in today or it's like, yeah, we're kind of fatigued, but we should push through. But like, yeah, so we kind of have like a good game plan and I'm, I'm really excited. We just benched today, did like seated OHP and just, I don't know. It just something's feeling good. It's feeling uh, I haven't like really strictly ran a program in a in a very long time. So, yeah. So I'm gonna be recording some of these workouts, and I'll just be giving you guys updates like throughout. And yeah, I'm I'm just I, I don't know. We just worked out. I'm feeling really good. Uh, I guess I've never done this before, but uh, like and subscribe. We're we're at like 80k right now, 80 something k. So get us to 90k, and then we're at 90k basically at 100k like a little just 10 percent more and then we'll be there but yeah that's gonna be like fantastic i actually won't even be able to fathom that but um uh what else is there what else is there yeah that's it see you guys later